about it because they make your ice cream from scratch and so we got all got almond milk with um I got taro and then Haley got vanilla with brownie and all those stuff but we'll show you when we get it when we get it all Haley's was good it's already half eaten daddy's already gone through it <laughs> hey guys so guess what today I am wearing glasses to cover up an allergic reaction I had to something, okay? And this eye is going off the rails. Yesterday I did like a little treatment that's supposed to calm it down and it made it worse, I guess, or something. I took a Benadryl that didn't work. I have no idea what's going on. I'm not allergic to things, so I don't really know how to react and my mom isn't answering the phone. So I'm gonna be wearing glasses all day and these are blue lights, so it doesn't react with well to light. So you can't see what's going on. So um, that's the deet. So today we are going to this place that my dad said that we're going to. And it's called, I don't know what it's called yet. I will let you guys know what it's called when we know. Um, but my dad calls it the cold floor. So it's basically in, in El Salvador right now, it's summertime. And in the summertime, they still have places that get like extremely cold. Okay, anyways, so that's where we're going today. And I'm gonna be getting ready and I wanted you guys to get ready with me because I'm very excited to go to this place. And I feel like I need more footage for this two week trip that I took. Yesterday, I went to the store, we got some things. And I'm gonna show you what those things are. Me and my sister's favorite store to shop at is called Polar Bear and Bershka, but they are horrendously expensive and they only sell them everywhere else except the US. Every year we come out here, we always buy loads of stuff from the store because we never get to come out here. Everything is 35 to $45 basically. Everything is the same thing unless it's on sale. I got this hoodie. It's actually a cropped hoodie that was from, um, that is supposed to be like like cropped and short but I got it in a large so that it would fit me perfectly around like right around my, where my waist ends and then it's super baggy oh my god these jeans fit so well um and I tried to go back and get some other ones in a different color but I could not find them ew I couldn't find them or I couldn't find any because the store is a pretty big mess so these are the mom jeans and I'm a four if you're wondering and they fit so well so I think I'm gonna wear these today with the hoodie and then I got this shirt it's just a plain beige shirt that has like a cutout right above the boobs and then I got this shirt that has a, it's like another plain basic top but it has like this little cutout up here and then I got this beanie from the oh, El Salvador like tourist store um, and then I got this purse it's my sister said it's like that Prada purse, and I just liked that it was simple, and it was a handbag. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready, and I'll be back. Turned 19, and I dropped out for a few months in my hometown. Cause I'm moving on to big and better things.
guys, so we're over here. Hey guys, we are on the last little part and uh, I'm scared for life, so we're grabbing onto the poles and it's very bumpy, so. Haley's taking us a film right now because she can hold better than I can. We're here at the last little stretch here. We're in the, it's in the thing. No, it's not cold. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. It's really hot. Uh, Hi, Daddy. Right down there is where we were before. Hey, guys. So, we're up here at the top. And... It's actually pretty cool. We're walking up a little bit higher. And my dad didn't have a jacket. My dad is wearing a beanie. And there's my sister. Okay. This is funny. Okay, the ride up here was kind of hectic. And I thought I was going to fall the entire time out of that thing. It's okay. It's actually not that cold. It's like, I'm going to say in the 60s. But everybody's like, oh my god, it's freezing. But I think it's because it's summertime and it's like cold, so. Here we are. We are going on the hike. Keep going, let's catch up. We're going on the hike. And I think we're going to the rock and there's one where you can go up into the antenna but my dad doesn't want to go there so we're gonna go to the rock for now enjoy this walk looking from your telescope take me on this journey home i don't want to wait no lay me down behind the moon tell me you'll be on real soon i don't want to wait no that bad really we are out here in the jungle on a hike still except we are on our way down and we took some very nice pictures so I'll insert them here you see that you see that right there these are some good pictures we are on our way down back to our little uh, place thing the little camping ground because people can camp here but we just came to visit for the day and then i told my dad that he owes me a good cup of coffee because every single cup of coffee i've had so far has been water <laughs> Cannonball. Oh, cannonball. <laughs> Daddy. Wrecking ball. Wrecking ball.
here. They have some hammocks. And this pretty view right here. My dad snooping. Oh, there's bathrooms. Look, there's bathrooms, Daddy. They're not open, huh? No, we have to go to the key. Yeah. Look how pretty, though, Daddy. Yeah. And this is El Salvador. Yeah, this is El Salvador. What's that lake over there? Huh? What you talking? The lake? Mm -hmm. You can probably see the ocean from here. What do they do on here on this thing? Yeah. Little lesson, huh? What is that? They didn't have it anymore. Look at the hammocks, though. Cool, huh? Room 2110, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite. Look at little horses. Very cute. And there's some bathrooms over there, so. We on the way in we sanitized our shoes. They sanitize the tires <laughs> and they give a sanitizer for our hands. So and took our temperature. Right. Yep, now we're gonna have some lunch and then they're gonna take us on a tour. So and we got a little more greenhouse over here. What is this called, Daddy? El Carmen. Ataco. Pretty sure this side is a hotel. Identificar o mencionar como de relevancia, ¿verdad? En el 80, 880 que empezó a, a crear sus fincas, porque él empezó a comprar eh, como por poquitos parcelas, ¿verdad? Pues para ir creándolas. Luego en el, en el 90, la creación de la casa. Y ya en el 30, la creación del beneficio, porque el beneficio iba a estar en maquinaria que se encuentra que está desde 1930. Sí, Entonces, ha sido la, la evolución más grande. ¿no? Ajá, y por lo general. ¿Y qué familia es? Es la familia actualmente Alfaro Castaneda. El fundador fue don Agustín Alfaro Morán. Y actualmente es Alfaro Castaneda. Son de la misma línea de, de los dueños de la Ola Beto. No sé si conocen la Ola Beto. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Entonces, es de la misma familia. Ahora, en este momento, lo que primero que voy a hacer en esto es humedecer el filtro. Pareja, desde el inicio voy a precalentar tanto recipientes como el porroncito, porque si no, además de la brisa que está corriendo, él es que está helado por el momento, entonces bajaría mucho la temperatura de él. Claro, claro. Además, ¿ves? debemos de tomar en cuenta de que es de, el filtro es reutilizable, es de tela de manta, ¿sí? entonces cuando se lava, ¿verdad? en algún momento le pudiese quedar algún aroma del material. Ahora, vamos a probar un café calidad húmeda en su variedad borbón. Este café ha sido recolectado arriba de 1.200 metros sobre el nivel del mar. ¿Por qué? Nosotros vamos a ver más adelante calidad, variedad y proceso. Entre más alto, ¿qué, qué, qué tipo de sabor agarra? Muy bien. Esas son las variedades, ¿verdad? pero también tenemos las calidades. La calidad de la altura sobre el nivel del mar a la cual nosotros recolectamos el café. Por lo general, un café de mediana altura se recolecta de entre 800 a 1.000 metros sobre el nivel del mar. Luego viene estricta altura de 1.000 a 1.200 metros. Y todo el café arriba de los 1.200 metros ya es considerado calidad gourmet. ¿Qué es lo que influye? A menor altura y mucho más calor, entonces el grano madura aceleradamente. Al madurar aceleradamente, 
no logra despertar o obtener sus características adecuadas. Entonces el café va a tender a tener notas más bajas, más terrosas. Menos espeso. Menos espeso, con notas como en algún momento como a tierra, en esa especie de en algún momento. Entonces eso es lo que influye, ¿verdad? Mayor altura es bueno, pero tampoco que exceda. Y a una altura muy baja el café va a ser bastante malo, como un soluble, podemos decir, por ejemplo. Y ahora en este momento, lo que hice fue una preinfusión. En la preinfusión, humedecer el café y dejarlo por aproximadamente 30 segundos para que él empiece a soltar sus atributos. ¿Por qué? Si yo empezara a agregar el agua y en 30 segundos o en un minuto hago que todo el agua pase sobre el café, pasó muy rápido y no logro extraer los sabores de él. Ahorita ya está cayendo más oscuro. Ajá, porque lo primero fue como el, el agua directa, ¿verdad? Entonces ahorita que ya lo dejé reposar, si va a empezar a agregar el agua, se van a dar cuenta de que ya va a empezar a caer más espesito. O sea, que se, se, que, así como que se esponja, ¿no? Como que se esponja, ajá. Él en ese momento se esponjó oh. y empezó a soltar todos sus atributos. Ajá, ah. pero primero antes de echarle 16 a todo, primero probar el café, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Porque también hay cafés que van a ser suaves. Hay cafés que van a ser fuertes o algunos intermedios. Tipo vino. Ajá. Como el vino. Como el vino. Sí. Hay algunos que son amargos. Sí. Otros que son una acidez bastante fuerte. Porque incluso en acidez también se puede, se puede confundir uno, ¿verdad? Ah, sí. Nosotros hemos conocido personas que nos dicen, pero el café a mí no me gusta porque es ácido. Ah. Ajá. Pero también debemos identificar tres tipos de acidez en el café. La acidez propia, que es una física de que este café es amargo, pero es una acidez, una, un amargor no como de quemado, sino que nosotros la asimilamos. Hey guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry about the cutoff there, but you'll be able to see the rest of the tour in my next video. So definitely subscribe and turn on your post notification button so that you know when the next one goes up. I will be posting two more El Salvador vlogs, I'm pretty sure. So definitely stay tuned for that. And also, I have a lot of videos planned for this year and I'm very excited for all the things I'm going to do. So please like and comment any questions you have about my trip to El Salvador or the tour or anything like that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, thank you. Text me when you get here, you made